five months before MTV launches, airing the first music video. 40th U.S. President Ronald Reagan was shot outside at Washington Hotel, and after his recovery, Reagan appoints the first female Supreme Court Justice, Sandra Day O'Connor. After that, Reagan was sent to the hospital, but he survived the shooting, and recovered from his wounds, and back to his presidential office. Let's travel back to 1981, to see the attempted assassination of Ronald Reagan, and why did the suspect shot him for a reason, and why it did happen? Ronald Reagan was the first actor ever elected president. Dozens of his Hollywood friends showed up for his inauguration. Even though Reagan had been governor of California, people in Washington still weren't sure what to think. Did Ronald Reagan know how to be president? Or was he just an actor, playing the role of president? President Ronald Reagan and First Lady Nancy Reagan on Inauguration Day, 1981. Ronald Reagan was also the oldest person to become president. I am Ronald Wilson Reagan to solemnly swear that I will faithfully execute the office of President of the United States and will to the best of my ability preserve, protect, and defend the Constitution of the United States. So help me God. Less than a month after taking office, he turned 70. Would a man in his 70s be strong enough for all the work and responsibility that went with the job? On March 30, 1981, just nine weeks after taking office, Reagan faced his first big test. That morning, he had made a speech at the Hilton Hotel in Washington, D.C. One of the people with him was Jerry Parr. When he was a boy, Parr had seen Ronald Reagan in code of the Secret Service. Now he was an agent guarding the president. As the president and his aides came out of the hotel, two shots rang out. James Brady, the White House press secretary, fell to the ground, shot in the head. Seconds later, there were four more shots. At the sound of the first shots, Jerry Parr and another agent grabbed Reagan and threw him into the backseat of his waiting limousine. Parr jumped on top of him. Reagan felt a sharp pain. I think I broke a rib. He said. Reagan coughed into his handkerchief. The blood was bright red and laced with tiny air bubbles. Parr ordered the driver to head for George Washington University Hospital. At the emergency ward, Reagan got out of the limo and walked to the door. Just inside, he sank to his knees, unable to breathe. The doctors discovered a bullet hole under his left arm. The president was rushed into surgery. Four people in all were shot that day, including a policeman and a Secret Service agent. James Brady, the most seriously injured, was disabled for life. The assassin was a young man named John Warnock Hinckley Jr. He claimed that he did it to get the attention of the actress Jodie Foster. Later on, when John Hinckley Jr. went to trial, a jury decided that Hinckley was insane. He was put in a special hospital. Like a asylum. We the people of Washington, District of Columbia vs. John Warnock Hinckley Jr. Now we find the defendant, John Warnock Hinckley Jr., not guilty. But Mr. Warnock Jr. should be put in the special hospital, like a asylum. For Reagan, it was a narrow escape. The bullet had lodged an inch from his heart. Still, he came through in good spirits. When he saw his wife Nancy after his operation, the first thing he did was make a joke. Honey, I forgot to duck. Fortunately, he was able to make a strong recovery. After being shot, Reagan also took up weightlifting. He was 70 years old, but he worked out every day. After 12 days, Reagan was out of the hospital, and he had to get back to the problems of the economy, because of his trickle-down economics and he was nicknamed Reaganomics. And this is how Reagan survived the assassination. That's all folks, if you like the video, please subscribe and click notification bell for more videos. That's all for now folks. Farewell.